Welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. It's usually the final thoughts segment of the show, but we didn't even talk about the Tigers yet because there's that much going on. Tigers 7-3 and three to start the season. I think more importantly, 5-1 and one on the road so far. They got the rubber match today in Houston against the Astros. Verlander, let's talk about him. He goes out, he throws two meatballs in the first inning, then he settles down. Six innings of nice work, eight strikeouts, only two walks on those two dingers. Baseball's a sport where history matters for some strange reason, and he's always been mediocre or, you know, average in April. So it's not unexpected, but, you know, the way he battled back yesterday was really good. And what a difference it makes having a freaking bullpen. Yes, <laughs> it is a lot different, isn't it? I mean, it? It's, it makes nice. a manager look good. Yeah, certainly does. And it also makes your manager look good when you have a lineup with that much power. And six of the first 10 hits for the Tigers yesterday were for power. Yeah. I mean, that, that, Neil, when you look at this rundown, or rundown, when this lineup, you basically understand what you're going to get if you produce. And you're talking about two guys earlier in the show, uh, or before the show, who, who are overproducing. Well, Nick Castellanos right now, with, with all due respect, he's not a 390 hitter. A nice player. Right. And, and he's young, and we don't know what the ceiling is with Nick Castellanos. So that's why I say temper some of your expectations with this lineup. But Nick Castellanos is a guy, he's, he's not that. Jared Saltelmachia, right. a great signing. Could you put him in these spots? And he's been huge. How three, big is three he? Three home been? runs. Yeah. How big has he and, been? And most of the home runs have been important home right. runs. It's easy to get caught up in early season baseball. 162 games, so we have 152 more to go. Yeah. Nicky hasn't the, shown a lot of power yet, no. so that'll change. To, so it works both ways. You need ways. Victor Martinez, obviously, right. to stay healthy. And that's that's been my biggest question mark from spring training to today to next month to the All Star break. Will Victor Martinez be able to stay healthy? Well, time will tell. If he does, you see what this lineup's capable the of. The one negative has still been their baffling base running. Yes. <laughs> well, and, and, and manager Brad Osmus did say yesterday after the game that people were going to start getting reprimanded, maybe getting a little benched if they start didn't start using their minds a little bit on the bases. Guys, thanks so much for joining us today. As always, Thank great you. job. Enjoy your Sunday. Get out there and enjoy some sunshine before playoff action starts later today. See ya.